Local honeybees are waking up from a long winter, and while hives like this one are doing amazing, unfortunately, that's not the case for a lot of hives across the state of Idaho. Bees are struggling to survive right now. We're losing between three and 5% of our bee population every year. If there's no bees, there's not going to be any pollination. If there's no pollination of the plants, there's, we're not gonna have food to eat. Just checking to see if the queen's on here. Bees are a vital part of our survival, which is why local beekeeper Mark Davis has dedicated his life to protecting them. I contacted all of the exterminating companies here in the valley and let them know that I was going to be starting a bee rescue and asked them how many colonies they destroyed the previous year when people call and say, hey, I got bees in my front yard or in my house, I need them killed and they went out, there was over 40,000 uh, colonies here in the Treasure Valley that were destroyed the previous year to me starting Treasure Valley Bee Rescue. Davis says every exterminator in town that he's been in contact with since has called him or another bee rescue to relocate hives instead of killing them. Well, we're very grateful for that. And every beekeeper loves free bees. You see the little, Looks like a little maggot down in the cells. Calling a bee rescue instead of an exterminator is just one way that you can help protect local honeybees. Another is by naturally maintaining your garden. It's always safest if you have a weed to pull it. So if you're spraying pesticides and herbicides, it gets tracked into the honey and it also gets tracked on the wax where the young are developing. And if the young are developing in a toxic environment, there's more susceptible to infections and the viruses, and thus their lifespan will be reduced. Having more bees on your property isn't just better for them though. If you have a garden and you don't have bees in the area, you won't get any fruits or vegetables off of it. You'll get very little, if any. Mm -hmm. But if you have bees pollinating them, you'll get 60 to 80% more per plant. If a colony is producing a lot of drones this time of year, it means that the colony is very healthy. Oh, good. Part of saving the bees is educating people about them. And Davis wants you to know that bees are nothing to be afraid of. Bees do not want to sting you. They know they'll die if they sting you. That's the last thing in the world they want to do. They will only sting you for one of two reasons. One, you smash them, or whether you step on them or you uh, pinch them or two, you're swatting at them, or well, three, you're attacking the hive. It's purely defensive, they're not aggressive. If you would like to help the Treasure Valley Bee Rescue, one of the ways you can do that is by buying their honey. All of the proceeds go back to helping local bees and you can buy it online and they deliver anywhere in the Treasure Valley. Reporting in Boise, I'm Sophie Dumani.